Good morning, welcome, welcome everybody, welcome to my channel, my name is Chrissy, and today I'm going to be giving you a prediction reading for the 15th of November. Gosh, November's flying along guys, isn't it? It's hard to keep up. It's all go for Christmas now, isn't it? Um, first off, a little bit of admin from Australia, not very much. Um, if you are new here too, please consider subscribing. Don't forget, hit the like buttons guys, and please comment down below. Sometimes it takes me a day or two to get back to your comments because I like to sit down and actually really absorb them. So I don't want to be rushing when I'm um, hearing what you guys have got to say because it is important to me. Um, so if I don't get back to you in a day or two, don't panic. I will get there. And sometimes we know YouTube delays them sometimes by a day. Can even be up to a year. It has been known on my channel to get my comments back. Um, the only real admin I've got here from Australia is, oh, yes, after the big Optus hacking scandal on the news now, they're just overall, this is in general, they're um, warning Australians to be very careful. Just like we said yesterday, I'm sure there'll be the security cyber um, protection government apps on the phone soon, but they are warning Australians to be very careful about cyber attacks. Yes, very careful. Uh, don't we give out our information hoping it's going to be safe with these networks and things like that, but clearly it isn't and now they're being warned. I mean, what can the little people do, really? Like, really? <laughs> what can you do? Oh, anyway, it's all very scary. We know that it is. And I think it was... Um, I think in Queensland, I think it is, Jen, <laughs> where you're living, um, I would think there's a bit of a CV outbreak, so you better be very careful because on the Today Show this morning, they were talking about maybe, yes, dusting it off again, guys, and getting out your masks. So I'm not seeing as many people doing that this time as uh, the last event, but anyway, it's sweeping across. I wonder if it's got anything to do with the cruise liner the grand princess they docked and let everybody get off and spread it all around australia mm, just so many questions that we have isn't there on this channel guys um and also guys don't forget i'm doing my um <clears throat> viewer card pulls at the end of each video yesterday i did lynn gray and reflections so go check those out guys and i've got my other two for today and don't worry i'll get to everybody i'm i'm pretty good um we're just doing two each day all right how about we get Straight into the reading, guys, and we'll see what comes up. Look, Amber, I'm getting into the Christmas vibe now. I'm trying to put a few little Christmas decorations around. I'll show you them at the end of the video. Oh, I love it. You've got to have a little bit of Christmas, haven't you? Oh, I'm getting that song. Just a little Christmas right this very minute. <laughs> There's always a Christmas song that just drops <laughs> into the head, isn't it? Um, <clears throat> you've got to kind of get into the, into the feel of it. I think it was you, Kat. Yeah, we were talking about the other day, wasn't it? Putting the lights on yourself. I think you need to, but cheer yourself up. Cheers, everyone. I've got my coffee. Speaking of cheers. Doggy walk day today for me. We walk Sandy and I, my girlfriend, walk the dogs. So they'll go ballistic because they absolutely love Sandy. All right, let's get started. Oh, people are just hurting in the hip pocket. That's what I'm getting. We knew that was coming. Um, and it's showing me um, their wallet's empty. And then the other pocket at the back, they're showing me people getting their hanky out and just like drying up the tears. People are just overwhelmed. Um, <laughs> That's just the image I'm getting for most people around the globe. It's Struggle Street. Everyone feels like they're living in Struggle Street. So we've got the handkerchief, like, you know, drying up the tears. Oh, I'm getting that John Farnham song. We always have to get a song, you know we do. Um, is it John Farnham? Yeah. You gotta wash away the tears. Um... And you know it, I'll be true. Oh, I just had the words then. Hang on. Every time you cry, I will be your tears. <laughs> so when the rainbow disappears. Sorry, guys. It's, it's something about wash away your tears. Every time you cry, 
Is it Human Nature that sings that or John Farnham? It's one of the two. Anyway, I'm getting that song. Everybody is living in Struggle Street. I don't think... You know, I told you guys about the ANZ Bank. I think it was the CEO. Came out yesterday saying, buying your house is only for the rich. Hmm. We're tired of the same old BS, aren't we, guys? God, it just gets... You just... God, they don't even hide it. They're not even subtle about it. We know that now, moving forward, only the rich can afford a house. Like, it's absolutely insane. So I'm just getting that song, Wash Away Your Tears. Um, I'll be there to dry your eyes is the words of that song. Sorry, I'm getting you guys so muddled up on I. <laughs> you know, they just give me songs and then start singing. I'm like, what the? Oh, well. <laughs> Go and play that song. I'm pretty sure it's John Farnham. Wash away your tears. I'll be the one to dry your eyes every time you cry. Aw. <laughs> I think they're referring to the handkerchief, actually. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. So Struggle Street is where most people are living at the moment. <laughs> that doesn't sound good, does it? Oh, my God. Not quite on Skid Row, but there's a hell of a lot of people moving to Skid Row, I'm thinking. But most majority of people are on Struggle Street, struggling to make ends meet. It's tough times. And I keep saying it's going to get harder into 2024. Oh, people are tired of it. See, people can't... Uh, it's it, People can't uplift their soul. People can't uplift themselves. How do you lift yourself up when there's, like, nothing to look forward to? There's nothing to look forward to. How are you ever going to own your home? How are you ever going to go on holidays? How are you ever going to go out to dinner again? Plus, people are having to give things up. <clears throat> people who like a nice wine or a beer. Look how expensive that's getting. Or people who used to probably go to the pub and have a beer with their mates. That's getting expensive. People's social interactions are changing. Um, getting a coffee, you know. We all know here, well, there's a few of us here that are coffee addicts. <laughs> We need our morning coffee, don't we? Um, well, even things like that, people are having to give up their, their morning oh, cuppa because that's getting too dear. And as we know, all the overheads, all the prices of everything have to go up. It's inevitable. You've got to pay more rent. You've got to pay the couriers. You've got to pay for fuel. There's a lot going on. Um, all right. <clears throat> God, they're showing me sushi sitting. <laughs> We've had so much sushi. It's, it's his turn at the moment, isn't it, guys? Because he went too hard. Um, that's Rishi Sunak, if you are new in UK. Um, they're showing me him with a great big checked red and white bib, like tablecloth thing tucked in. He's got a knife and fork and he's sitting there with an empty plate. Um, he's trying. See, he is trying. He's very trying. But he's trying to put himself in the little people's shoes. He's trying to understand what they're going through with this cost of living crisis. So he's trying to, he's trying, see, he's trying to be relatable to the people. He's trying to let them know that he understands what it's like to not be able to put food on your plate. I don't think he's literally doing that because I'd say he eats quite well. He would have his own chef and everything. We know that they would. But he's got, they're showing me him sitting at the table, this empty white plate with a knife and fork and this red and white check bib thing on. Um, he wants to be relatable again to the people. He wants people to understand that he gets it. I don't think he gets it. He's pretending. See, he's the magic magician. I keep telling you, he's got all the tricks up his sleeve. He knows how to, like, pull off the big black magic cover or whatever you call it, cape or whatever, and ta-da, everything's better. He can just make everything better. So I feel like this is where Sushi's at at the minute. Just at the minute, he's trying to relate to the little people like, I know what it's like to not be able to put food on the table. Because let's face it, that's probably the biggest issue, I'd say, apart from fuel def oh, and bills. Oh, actually, there's quite a few issues, isn't it? But food is a really big one. How do you feed your family? See, everyone's turning back to the cheaper meals. I bet people are using a lot of... You know, this isn't going to help anyone's diet, is it really? Lots of white breads, lots of pastas, lots of rice, um, this kind of thing just to fill kids and to fill everyone up. 
Um, so he's trying to let the people know this is what you'll be getting. Him talking about how he really understands the pressures of life and um, what everybody's going through. He's going to try to re he's going to try to be the sympathizer that goes out with empathy for the little people who are living in Struggle Street um, and making out he really does get it. He does get it. He don't get it. He doesn't get it at all. He's just faking it. It's the trick, the illusion. We always talk about illusions here, the, the magicians and all their trickery. Well, Sushi's the master of it. So don't be fooled if you're living in the UK. All right, so you're going to hear from him. He's going to try and relate to the people again. Because I feel like Sushi burnt a lot of bridges with people with his little red carpet rollout. It didn't go so well. It didn't go so well. Like I said the other day, people just like stomped on it, knocked the rope railings over and put all mud on their red carpet and just people didn't want it. Basically, people didn't want it. Example, you always tracking and tracing systems and all this kind of 15-minute hmm, city garbage that they were trying to put on everybody. Okay. Yeah, and I'm getting, oh, the sun's coming out here. It was really cloudy this morning. Oh, it's got all glary. <laughs> oh, there's better light though, isn't it, guys? I'm getting that people are drowning in sorrow. It's showing me people are behind closed doors, like drowning in sorrow and misery. But if you think about it, this is part of the awakening process. A lot of us here have probably been through that, where you feel can be depression, um, can be grief, depression, grief of your old life. You know, we've talked a lot here about the hearse going past with the word grief. Oh, not grief in it, with the sign, sorry, your old life, like the hearse drives past. Well, that's what people are realising, their old life is going, unless they do something about it. So people are drowning like they're sorry. So, and also the fact that their life's going down the toilet, people are getting depressed, they're feeling overwhelmed, they're having really high anxiety and panic attacks, not leaving their houses. There's a lot of this starting to happen Um People hiding away behind closed doors. That's just what I'm getting. Not you guys watching my channel. Um, that's not what we're doing anymore. We actually stay a lot behind closed doors just to protect ourselves from other people's energy and people waking up. It's different um, because that's our safe place, our haven. That's that's where we like to be by choice. Um, but I do feel a lot of people are drowning their sorrows. Could be even in, I said there'll be a lot more addictions you know, what they can afford, the cheapy alcohol, like the passion pop and all this kind of thing. So there's going to be people turning to, you know, more smoking. God, and that's so expensive. Imagine the cost of cigarettes. Oh, I hadn't even thought about all that stuff because that would be going up too. There'd be all taxes on everything. You can just imagine. So I am getting that. But then a lot of people, it's that getting depression. You know, that's kind of what I'm getting. These depressive feelings where... People are struggling to get himself out of a hole. It's it's that feeling. But then that's part of the awakening process too because it's you have to, sometimes you have to hit rock bottom, don't they say, in order to climb back out. And we've most of us here have been through that with dark nights, soul depression, traumas. I talk about that a lot. Um, and we've managed to change our life completely. We're in a whole different headspace. I think you would all agree with that. Um, so a lot of this we're not seeing. And it's happening behind closed doors. See, what it is, is people have to look within. The people waking up that are doing the crime investigation board that I talk about all the time, they're having to look within. They're having to face their feelings. They're having to look at themselves. They're having to deal with the old emotions that they never wanted to look at, that they've pushed down, down, down to their toes and their feet. Um, so they've never had to deal with them. But now they're being forced to deal with them because they're having to move to a higher frequency vibration. Um all right. Gosh, I get Germany. I still get Germany is rising. I reckon there's something happening in Germany. This has been this has been simmering in Germany for about six months, I'd say. People are getting stronger in Germany. They don't like being lied to over there. That's what I'm getting. See, people are waking up. They're aware. They know they're being lied to by their governments. It doesn't take very much, does it? Um, 
so I still get that rising of people in Germany. And a lot of this could be around renewables too. I do feel that it could be. I feel like a lot of it could be around renewable energy. They People really feel like they're being lied to now. Because a lot of the truths are coming out. I always tell you guys about the electric car crap, the wind energy nonsense. Like it just goes on and on and on. It honestly does. And there's no facts or any proof. I mean, it almost sounds a little, doesn't it, like the... I won't talk about it too much, the picky's jab wheel. Um, there wasn't a lot of proof around a lot of these things, although we still have to go along with it because that's that's the uh, narrative here on YouTube. There's only one narrative on YouTube. We all know that. Or we get taken off it. Freedom yeah. of speech, I don't know how that works on these platforms. It doesn't seem to be there, does it, as we all know. We've all been... Um, had strikes been taken off or comments disappeared, you know, same old. So we can't talk about the picky wheel here if you're wondering why we tiptoe around it. All right. Gosh, I'm getting this song by R.E.M. I think it's R.E.M. Everybody Hurts. Everybody hurts sometime. So we all go through our hurts, which is, again, part of the awakening process. I'm just getting that. Everybody hurts. Everybody hurts in different ways. But it's like the awakening process is about, well, what are you going to do with these hurts? Are you going to sit in them? Are you going to move through them? Are you going to um, improve your life because of them? See, we talk about that here. I often talk to you guys about when something happens to you, like back here in your life, it, I talk about it like the patchwork quilt. It's like little patches on a patchwork quilt. Something happens to you here, but as you move through life and and you come across a situation, you realize why this happened back here because it helped you to grow and expand and improve your life and become either a better person or for your surroundings to become better or for you to change. Sometimes these hurts and things that happen to us are a gift. Um, you know, for example, it's like when people leave our lives. This is just an, an example. Um, a lot of us went through that with the picky wheel. We lost a lot of friends. But now it's like we don't really think about it. It's like, oh, that was actually a good thing. Like I look back and I had friends for, I reckon, 15 years here. Like a long time. And I know you guys did too. Same scenario, pretty much. And I don't even miss them. Because I've got like new people who are awake and... Um, who vibrate at a different level, who really get me and understand me and I don't have to second guess myself all the time. Like it's a much more freeing experience. So now I know why all these things kind of happen and move us to a different place. Um, that's just an example of losing their friends. It could be so many things that happen. It could be even that you move. You're forced to move or you get a divorce or things just happen in life. You have to change jobs and that's very scary because people hate change. But then you start a new job or you work from home, for example, and and you think, wow, this is so much better. I'm so much less stressed. And so I do believe this, that everything leads you sort of somewhere. It's the... Um, I don't know. It's just the the ebbs and flows of life, isn't it, is what I'm getting. And I'm getting that song, Everybody Hurts. So everybody does go through hurts. And a lot of the people waking up now are going through probably their hurts. Their hurts. Being lied to by your government uh, doctors and, as we know, still mainstream media, um, you know, pretty hurtful when you find out that you've been BS'd for the last like four years. That wouldn't be great. So I'm getting that song by R.E. Sure, it's R.E.M. Mm. A piece of milk. <laughs> All right, guys. All right, let's keep going. I'm getting earthquakes. Oh, it could be fault line movement or tremors around San, San Diego. Do you get earthquakes i'm just getting san diego for some reason um a lot of shifting in the earth a lot of movement oh did you see oh god guys did you see that on clown planet there was an interview with the um is it the mayor of san francisco in america 
And they must be having a visit from all the big wigs. I don't know what's going on. Of course, there'd be another big wig, wig meeting. And they're cleaning it up, cleaning out all the homeless people again. So funny. Clown Planet's so funny. And he's playing the song, Are You Going to San Francisco? You know that song, Are You Going to San Francisco? And they just clean it up and just shove all the homeless people out. Like, unreal. They don't even care. <laughs> like, how's these global elites? They're such monsters and torrents, aren't they? It just, just reminded me of that when I said San Diego. But I am getting um this fault lines earth tremors we know that the everything's shifting even the mother nature is really shifting at the moment so there's a lot of earthquakes tremors not all major but enough to do a bit of damage um enough to do damage just getting the san diego re region i don't know if you get them there um that's just what i'm getting Oh, guys, uh, this morning on the news too, I've got to mention to you, you know how I'm always talking about Qantas here? The Australian Airlines. Qantas, it's been ripping people off and Alan Joyce got his big payout, all his millions. And I keep talking about it and how they failed all their customers and lost all their bags and booked flights that weren't even going to be flying, you know, all the corruption. But nothing seems to have come of it as usual. Well, now they've taken off the flying kangaroo i think it was a red flying kangaroo yes i think it was um and it there's a lot of them that are, they're changing the look of the planes and yes they're going green they've got green paintings all over them now and they're saying they're the green Qantas. see it's all subliminal isn't it green i'm sure it's not green i'm sure it's got a lot of gas emissions and all this crap that's poisoning the atmosphere and everything but no we don't talk about that because it's just green Qantas planes and they've got all this dot painting which is again the indigenous painting on everything oh my gosh I don't have anything wrong with it but over here in Australia it is on everything all this indigenous artwork is turning up on everything so it's kind of like weird considering Australia voted no um, that suddenly now they're putting all the Indigenous art and they're calling it the green, like um, <clears throat> green Qantas planes, like they're all, you know. See, green to me would suggest to people that it's very, um, what would you call it? <laughs> Good for the environment. That's probably the word I'm looking for. Um, so it's covered in complete green dot paintings now. It's crazy. I'll put one on my Facebook page if I can get a picture of it. But see, it's all these subliminal messages again. It's subliminal. Like, I just don't get it. Like, that's the Australian Airlines, right, representing everyone. We've got everyone here. We've got the Muslims. We've got the Indians. We've got this, you know, Greeks, Italians. We've got such a broad multicultural, as most of you do too. And then they go and do this after everyone just voted no on the thing. And, and I know it's just artwork, but it's kind of like a slap in the face, really, to me. I don't know. Maybe I'm just, I overthink things. But, you know, calling it green with all its emissions, like, it's just subliminal, isn't it? Everything's subliminal. They play with our minds. We get that mind game song all the time. I mean, I don't mind a bit of Indigenous art. You know, it's really a skill. That dot painting is very skilled. But it is on Everything. Everything. I went to the post office the other day. I was looking for some Chrissy presents and it's on everything. It's on drink bottles. It's on coasters. It is on everything. Um, it is just in our faces here. I think you've got to realise that too. Um, I don't know if your countries have that as well. I have nothing against Indigenous people. It's not even an issue. But our government here just pushes it in our faces constantly. Constantly, constantly, constantly. And I reckon that this isn't the last of what we've heard about the yes, no vote. I reckon Elbow will be up to something. Mind you, he hasn't been here since the uh, no had a surprisingly massive win. Um, he's been jet-setting all around into every other country. So he's not even here. I don't get it. I don't get any of this. It's just there's some weird shit going on here down under. And I'd like to know what's actually going on, to be quite honest. It's very complex and convoluted as well. 
All right, well, we'll see if there's one more thing, guys, and then we'll pull some cards for us today. I'm getting Netherlands again with a capital N, um, which means you could be on the world stage for a little bit soon. I feel like there might be some decisions there that are going to wake other people up. Something's happening in the Netherlands that might be reaching out to the rest of the world. People are going to um, uptake it saying this information. They're really going to be focusing and listening See, the annoying part, and even in the Netherlands, I feel um, these global elites are trying to make their little playgrounds. They, they're trying to set up their little playgrounds. If you think of playgrounds at kids' playgrounds, well, they're setting these things up. So I feel like the Netherlands might be one of these destinations too where they're setting something up for themselves. We know they've got to have their jet-setting summits and all this kind of meetings and that globally. So it could even be something like that in the Netherlands. It might be becoming like a bit of a meeting place. But that's not a bad thing. I know you guys have been through a lot, the farmers particularly. Um, the good thing is if that was to happen though, guys, like don't panic because it'll put the eyes on some of the truce and the Netherlands and what's actually been going on. Like, it's not a bad thing because then all eyes, the spotlight will be on Netherlands. So that's a good thing. You want the information coming out and people questioning things. That farming thing was a huge thing. People really saw it. All those truck farmer protests, tractor protests, it was absolutely brilliant. Um, so I'm getting that. But these... It could be part of this playground. We all know they go to Davos in Switzerland. Like that's a giant playground. That's like the central playground. But then there's all these little suburban like playgrounds as well that they're putting on around the world. Netherlands could be one of them. Mm, for their political management meetings. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, it just doesn't end, does it? All right. I'm getting for us guys, you guys watching my channel, the guys are saying we've got to realise um, what abilities we've got. Sometimes it feels like we forget our own abilities. We get so focused on things, which is probably true. Um, we've got to keep conquering that mountain. If you are new here, sorry guys. Oh, because we get tired too. See, this saps our energy as well. It takes a lot of thinking to navigate these things. This last four years, or it's probably four and a half now, um, has taken a lot of our energy. It's been very energy draining, and the guides are saying we've got to keep going to the top of the mountain. We've got to keep moving up. It's like, it's almost showing me like the Himalayas or something like this with the snow-capped peaks, and we get over the first mountain, right? And then you look, and there's this vast amount of mountains again. We have to keep going. We have to keep climbing that. <laughs> of course, I've got to get it. You know that I do, from the sound of music, climb every mountain, go to the sea. <laughs> I don't know. Follow every rainbow. But I'm getting that climb every mountain. Don't just stop and think you've made it because we haven't made it, guys. We're still having to move forward. Speaking of, how's all your ailments and aches and pains? Mine are really bad. My neck is so bad. I have neck spasms, guys, and it's so bad. I, I think it originated from my knee, went to my back, and then my neck. I'm still doing qigong. I don't know. Nothing seems to work. I really need a massage every day. That would probably work. I'm sure you guys are going through the same. You always mention your knees, backs, necks. We all seem to be going through a real shift in our physical bodies, don't we? So the guide guides are saying keep climbing up that mountain and i'm getting of course that song running up that hill we're running up that hill with no problems 
by Kate Bush because we've got to not take any problems with this. We've got to keep freeing ourselves Keep dropping the backpack. Keep freeing ourselves of all the garbage. Um, leave it all behind. And I'm getting that song. Of course I am. Moving on up. Moving on up. Nothing can stop me. That's a great song, actually. I love that song. Moving on up. Don't know who sings it. Who sings it? Um, nothing can stop me. Well, that's us. We've got to keep moving on up. Um, awaken. Oh, and of course, I've got to keep getting that Josh Groban song. You raise me up so I can stand on mountains. God, it's all music here today. Music in mountains. <laughs> um, I'm going to pull you an awaken card today. Revision. My energy flows freely. That's why I always say to you guys, if you're not sleeping, make sure you get your sleep. I'm still on my valerian root tea and I sleep like an absolute log on that. I mix it in with my sleep tea in a little tea diffuser. Um, sleep is crucial. Do whatever you can to get sleep. Um, my energy flows freely because it helps you to flow better. It helps you. Um, it's healing. That's why we always get sleep. I'm going to pull two more of these. These are beautiful cards, aren't they, guys? Oh. They really are. Conscious choices. I make choices for the highest good of all. And see, if you think about it, still climbing that stairs. Oh, getting this song, Stairway to Heaven. What's with all the music today? By Led Zeppelin. Oh, I love that song. It's one of my all-time favourites. Um, and staying in your calm, peaceful energy. And we've got the plant, like new growth. Um, I make choices for the highest good of all. And I, I agree with that. Conscious choices. We, we do make very conscious choices. We do now that we're awake. Um, and and we do. We do it for... I always say we do things with humility. We, we really genuinely just want to help people to wake up and see the truth. Um, it's not about our egos. We See, we don't do things from egos. Jen, you and I were talking about that the other day, how a lot of these people who are attacking and in their beast mode and anger are really still stuck in their ego. It's about them being right and you were saying that and I agree. But we don't do things like it's not how we work at all, is it, guys? Whole energy balancing. I trust in the perfection of the present moment. Yeah, see, we know that's exactly what you've got to do to keep moving forward to. You've got to stay still and you've got to stay in the present moment. And it's by clearing your thoughts that it allows you also to move forward. Because you're not dragging all this clutter and garbage and gunk in your brains. That's why we talk in your brains. Oh, God. In your mind. <laughs> so we're, um, that's why I always tell you to keep um, declutter. We do that spiritual decluttering. How about we pull one Foxfire card as a message for us as well, guys. And we'll just pull one of these. And then I'm going to pull you an affirmation too, guys, today. I think we need it. We're all a bit struggling, aren't we? Delight. Oh. See, she's got the flute. So delight in music. Um, Just being, just delight in the moments where you are. Look, her wings are down. She's not going anywhere. Just delight in every moment. Take the joy from every moment. Just enjoy your life, guys, basically. That's what I see in that card. Delight in every moment. There is beauty in every moment. And it's very easy to miss it sometimes. Affirmation. Let's do a relax card. Let's see what message we get today to help us to heal and relax. Because I know a lot of us, like I said, not all, but a lot of us are still suffering. Aches, pains. Uh, don't rush things when the time is right. It will happen. And that's flowing again, isn't it? And just allowing things to happen. When you force things, it always creates resistance in our bodies. And we know that. We can't force the awakening to speed up. I did say they're moving a little faster than the snail pace now. They're moving more like a turtle, which is nice. So things are speeding up a little, guys. All right. How about we um, pull some cards now for our viewers? Um, yesterday, I did Lynn Gray and Reflections. And today, I'm going to be doing, first off, um, Jean Lowe, 8879. Hey, Jean. Um, I'm going to pull you first an Angel Answers card. Let's 
put you in Angel's Pants as hard. Hope everybody's getting into the Christmas spirit, are you guys? <laughs> I'm trying to. Ooh. You've got to make the most of it, haven't you? And make, have a bit of fun. Recovery. Oh, there you go. Jean, this is about your health and well-being. Um, you might be recovering. Maybe you've been a bit run down. Maybe you're a bit exhausted. Um, you might have been unwell. Um, I'm just getting that recovery. You've got the yoga position there, but you're also being... Um, it's like you're being made to sit down. I feel like you're being... Like if you look at that person behind you, it's like you're being pushed down. You're being told to sit. You're being told to rest. You're... You're being told to take time out. I feel like you're a busy person that um, you're very hustle and bustle. You zoom around. You've always got a lot of things on. You're, you've always got projects on. Your um, It's like your body can't catch up with your mind. They're showing me that your mind's off doing all these things and you're already doing it, but your body like can't catch up. <clears throat> what they're saying is you've got to allow time for your body to catch up you've got this gap period um your mind's too racy and your body can't sustain that pace that's why i think you get this little bit um it's saying a little bit of resistance in your body so you might be suffering a little bit too gene um but just give your body time to catch up. You're not giving your body, you've got to have some respite is what it's saying to you. A little bit of respite goes a long way. So even if that could mean that you might sit and watch a show for half an hour throughout your day, for example, because your thoughts go into this and you're just focused on that. You're not thinking about all of this that your little racing mind is wanting to achieve. Um, you've got to stop. Um, I'm getting that song. What's that old song? Stop. What's that sound? Everybody's no one's going down. Stop. What's that sound? I'm getting that for you. You've got to stop. And then I'm getting that. Is it Fleetwood Mac song as well? Um, what's that song? Stop. It'll soon be here. It'll be here better than before. Oh, that's don't. Stop thinking about tomorrow. I'm getting these songs about stopping. You really have to stop. You have to stop at intervals. It's showing me busy, 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 go, 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 stop. Busy, 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 go, 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 stop. You've got to make time for respite and stop because you can't keep going at that pace. You have to make time for recovery. That's the biggest message I'm getting for you, Jean. You have to give your body time to catch up because your body can't catch up with your busy mind. You must be a very, a, a good like planner and have a lot going on in your head. And another thing that would work with you as well, which you probably do, Jean, is write things down and tick them off. Because um, you like to achieve a lot of things, a lot of things apparently. Um, and that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. But if you jot them down and then you tick them off, you'll see at the end of the day or the end of the week, you'll go, Oh, gosh, I really did achieve a lot of things. And then you won't feel guilty when you have like a half hour rest. Maybe you feel guilty if you sit down and have a proper break. Um, just allow yourself to have it, Jean. It's really important. It's soul expression cards. Because it's like anything. It's like you like it to, it's showing me you're a car running out of fuel. And you just make it to the petrol station. And when you, this is what it is. It's like, say you sat and watched TV for half an hour. That's like being at the petrol station, filling up with fuel. And then you can go again. That's the message. Oh, I'm going to sneeze. Ew. You need to refuel. Ew. Oh, sorry, Jean. Not enough petrol in your tank, Missy. Not enough petrol in that tank. I'll pull you the solo expression card and we'll see what we get. I get it. It's hard to slow down sometimes. I understand that. I do get it. 
everyone has busy lives don't they and you just want to achieve so much in a small amount of time but what they're saying is you'll be more productive if you have your break oh there you go breathe i breathe in love i breathe out love i breathe properly allowing breath to lovingly nourish my body so there you go jean that's why you've got to sit and have your breaks because it allows you to get your breath back you will feel better if you have your respite it's important and focus on your breath because otherwise what it's saying is you're hyper like ventilating your shallow breathing you're rushing um you gotta do this you gotta do that you gotta do this and that all creates contraction in your body and your breathing so by slowing down and refueling you'll get more achieved anyway do you know do you understand that i hope you understand that You'll be much more productive as if you put breaks in between. So don't feel guilty about that. Just have them. All right. The next person I'm going to read is Nikki Rowe. Hi, Nikki. You always comment on my channel um, a lot. We chat to each other here. Um, you've been, you've had a lot going on too. It's been a big few years for a lot of people, hasn't it? I'm going to put you some angel answers. We've all sort of had a funny few years haven't we but it's been nice to have all found each other here on my channel i do appreciate you guys um so nikki this is your little mini card reading peaceful resolution well a few people have had this card Nikki, I'm getting the peaceful resolution is within you, inside your soul, inside your heart, inside yourself. Um, you're trying to find peace with you. Um, you have this inner conflict. You have this dialogue about yourself, and I don't think it's very nice. I think you've got to get kinder to yourself. Um, I feel what they're showing me is you've got this beautiful bright light. It's like an eclipse. And then they're showing me the darkness comes over you and then you sort of disappear in it. Um, could be around anything, but I do feel this is you internally. Um, you struggle to keep that light the strongest. Sometimes this darkness just kind of moves in um, and it feels like it just stops the light in you from filtering out. Does that make sense? Um, peaceful resolution. And I'm getting... <laughs> oh, Nikki, this is funny. You'll laugh. I'm getting for you 50 shades of grey. I feel like you're this... You have a lot of this grey area. In between the light and the darkness, you have 50 shades of grey. Oh, but this is inside you this is inside you um 50 shades of gray it does it does conjure up an image doesn't it um hang on a minute i feel like you carry uh well it's like it's almost saying to me you get very blurred everything's a bit blurry for you probably at the moment um so you would internally you want to be this bright light but this eclipse energy that comes over you <clears throat> creates this gray because it's like you put a light behind black it'll start to look gray so that's why you get this gray it's like um you have you have trouble controlling it and it's not um it's not peaceful to you you understand it's like you have an understanding of how to become peaceful and what stillness is and how to be in the now i feel like you've got an understanding of that but this is an internal battle and i see it across your chest you i'm even i'm getting anxious even talking about it and my throat <coughs> nikki you're too anxious You've got to stop. This is what the grey is. It's showing me like gunk. It's almost showing me like um, a smoker. You know how they have those ads with the, the smoking sponge and they squeeze it out and all that grey gunk comes out of the lungs? You know, they have all these scary visuals to turn people off smoking. You're not a smoker, I don't think. It's not about smoking, even if you are. Um, it, it's about 
the gunk that you're still carrying, it's all here. It's in your chest. Could be from childhood even. Um, you need to find a peaceful resolution and a way to get rid of it. You've got to dump it, Nikki. Um, it's stored here. Heavy, heavy chest. They're even showing me you laying down and someone's putting bricks on your chest. It's heavy, heavy, dense energy that's making you physically, I think, feel sick um, because you don't know how to eliminate it. Um, just let me pull one more card on this, Nikki, because... Sorry. I do get physically affected, guys, when I'm reading. Um, have I told you that? I actually get... I actually feel physical symptoms. Especially when I'm reading someone right in front of me. It's like, oh, man. I can get really bad backs and everything. Recovery. You're getting the same card as Jean. Um, there you go. You're getting the same message. Take time out. You take time out. And the thing is what they're saying, it's all well and good to understand stillness, being in the now and all that. But if you're not practicing it, you're not going to relieve this in your body. I feel like you're not taking the time out. You're not taking the time out for you. That's what it is. I feel like you need to either ring someone up and go and have a coffee and a good chin wag with a girlfriend. You need to go shopping. Buy yourself something. Buy yourself something, Nikki. How long since you've bought yourself something really nice? Um... You know, they're showing me like a beautiful cake of soap that smells really amazing, like something you really love. Like, what do you really love, Nikki? I feel like these are the things that can change these. It's like a, well, it's gray, but it's a darkness that's still toxic to your body. You have to find ways to get rid of it. You've got to recover. Um, oh, I still... <clears throat> Sorry, Nikki. I just do, I really feel your, and it's here, it's heavy, heavy. Um, could be past pains, past traumas, um, a lot of fear. I am feeling a lot of fear. Look at her chest. Look at her chest. See that great, that glowing light here? This is what you've got to get back to, Nikki. Um, you've got to get this light in your chest again. You might even do well, like I don't know if you're into crystals, but you could get a crystal that's like an absorption crystal. I know you can get, there's a black one um, and it absorbs negative energy and things. You could even wear that around the house. If you don't like wearing them out, you could wear it out, but you might not. Um, you could wear it around the house and you could wear it just to try and absorb some of this gunk. Like not, it's a gunk energy. It's an energy that's sitting here in your chest, Nikki. Um, and you've got to get it out. You know what I, I would even consider, because this is so gunky, I would even white sage. I would probably white sage your house. I would white sage yourself. White sage and say I'm only, you know, I'm only allowing the light energies and the light um, spiritual guidance into my life now. I'm not going to. And, and say, make something up and sort of say it as you're doing it. I would burn some white sage. Get that crystal hanging around your neck, something that's going to absorb. Go to a crystal shop. Um, this would be a good way of doing it. The guides are even saying you could gargle um, salt and water just to clear out these toxins because it's like this energy comes up through your mouth. Um, and you, well, also your mouth is your chimney, isn't it, which is your voice. So perhaps you didn't have a... Um, a strong voice as a child um, and you had to just bury all the pain and hurts and it's all gunked up around here in your chest you know it could even be um i don't know were you ever susceptible to bronchitis or coughs or this kind of thing or scratchy throat coughs like <coughs> that that's where it comes from it's just an energy it's an energy nikki um, i'm gonna pull you a soul expression card see if we can't get some sort of answer Yeah, child. Remember the feeling of childlike wonder. Surrender to the unconditional love you deserve. See, it could even be that. Maybe you didn't get a lot of hugs as a child or um, you didn't get great feedback as a child. Like perhaps you weren't fulfilled as a child. Um, 
See, as a child, we all need different things, but mostly we all need to be really loved and nurtured. And maybe parents get busy too and there wasn't time for that sort of thing. Um, so now it's time for you, Nikki, to kind of really love yourself. Go back to that childlike wonder and go back and think about the things that made you feel good. I feel like you're hanging on to the negative part of childhood. I want you to start to look at the positive part of your childhood. What was positive in your life? Really think about it. Even if you have to go through photos and memories and think, yeah, that's a good memory. Even if you have to go through, they're showing me you going through like mm, photos and separating them. Good memory, bad memory. Because I feel like your childhood's all blurred and it's come together, it, all the photos are like in this grey zone. But I think you actually physically could do this. Separate your photographs into positive memories and negative memories. Um, and, and you could even put them into like a black and white box or something like, you could literally do this. You could do it in your mind, but it's better if you do it in person. And put the, put the dark ones, like they might be still okay memories, but you can put them away in a black box so they're kind of out of your life, like physically out of your life. And then just focus on all the really good positive light energy from your past and your childhood. That's something that you really have to do, Nikki, because this is it's too much. It's too much for me reading your cards. So I can't even imagine what you're feeling. The anxiety, the tightness, the gunk, um, you're susceptible to just chesty things. Um, but you can move through it. You can let it go. You can separate it so it's not gray anymore. It can be just all light in a white box, find a white box and put beautiful, happy memory photos in it and only look at those, only look at those and just keep going back and saying, well, what was it about that that made me feel good? And bring it into your life, bring it into your life. Might be the music. <laughs> we get a lot of music here. I'm going to show you my Christy decorations, guys. I hope that helped you, Nikki. Oh, my leg's sore, guys. You know that it is. Oh, I have so much trouble walking. <laughs> She when I first get up. Don't you love all the Christmas decorations? I'm getting so into it now. Look at this little cute wooden tree. Isn't it gorgeous? I love really simple little things. Um, I just like to show you my fun stuff. Look at that. That's so adorable, isn't it? It's so simple. I love little wooden things. And it's got a little bit of fluff on it. <laughs> it's so cute. I hope you guys are getting into Christmas. Just even if you do little things, it makes it a bit fun and a bit special, doesn't it? Um, so I'm going to say goodbye from Australia today. I think we've had enough music today <laughs> and you've had enough of my voice prattling on. Um, take care, everybody. I will come on and talk to you tomorrow. Oh, my video didn't load till really late last night. It took, you know, about eight hours to load, just the usual. Hit those like buttons, guys. Please comment down below. I'll get back to your comments today. And please subscribe if you'd like to. That would be fantastic. And I'll talk to you very soon. Take care, everyone. Have a wonderful day. Bye, everyone. Bye.